We're going to go for a walk up to the wee hut up here for a better review of the viaduct, which you can see in the distance. It's that kind of stone structure as you're seeing in the distance. So we'll go up and we'll see if we can get a better view. There's a path up here. And I want to. <laughs> hallway at the moment. Let's get ourselves up the path to this wee pavilion gazebo thing okay, for a view because oh, I am just going to end up in the water if I keep going up these steep muddy bits. still there but whatever it was holding isn't he? AH 1925. Hmm. Maybe a water fountain of some kind. It's quite a nice wee water fountain isn't it? Yeah. What do you think of all these? Viaduct structures. Now you see, it starts there on the right. And you've got another three on the left to kind of support what we're remaining. We've got Alexander Hamilton Esquire, Kidderminster, a native of Stonehouse and donor of this park in loving memory of his mother, 30th of May 1925. And it was like some kind of water feature. Yeah, next year, yep. Yeah, 100 years ago. I think they've got rid of the bits that made it a, a water feature though. They seem to have... Well, maybe it just fell apart.
So there's a Cadzo Castle and there's the Duke's Bridge and below. So it's footpaths that take you down to all this and the Duke's Bridge takes you over the water to the, the castle. You can get a Duke's Bridge and the Cadzo Castle above it. This is where Aki's and me sat the last time we come down to Chatelot Country Park. And I'm not sure how well you can see the ruins of Cadzo Castle. The other side of the Duke's Bridge here. We'll be getting a wee bit closer to it. It's a really nice tranquil wee area to, to stop at. It's just so beautiful. for some kind of animal. All these wee holes in amongst the tree roots. Right, well, we've done this walk before. It was a bit warmer and there was blackberries everywhere, brambles all over the place, some raspberries. There's nothing like that on the go at the moment. Muddy slippy again because of quarters. It's very, very tall ivy trees. Another place. Oh my goodness. 
keep sleeping. So it's the Drips Bridge and Cadzera Castle we're heading over to. This place is very well signposted, signposts all over the place. Alexis is following up behind us. Jeez, this might be off the back of the recent storms. We've been seeing a lot of trees felled recently. It's quite the drop. I mean, it's such a steep drop down there. Oh my goodness. I don't know if there's anything I can use to give you perspective. So we, well, I was going to say there's a wee cyclist down there, but he's disappeared. Not looking to get all the way down to the riverside anyway, so that's okay. And there's it's just so steep. And these were par probably like for me to hold up some kind of wall or barrier maybe. Maybe it was cold the bridge at some point. Mm -hmm. uh, muddy muddy. Stopping every so often to see if Alexis will catch up. But, um, I'm not seeing her anymore. So this is a River Avon that's going underneath us at the moment. This is a Jukes Bridge. People are they're, I think is that a French thing? Putting the padlocks on bridges to show your love for another person. Um, seems to be that these are engraved for that specific reason to be put on these bridges. It's quite a nice wee tradition, can't hate that, you know. I'm seeing Alexis, she's behind us again, good. So this is us at Cadzo Castle, Oops, which is what these ruins are here. So, having been up here before on a previous tour, I'm pretty sure there's not a way in to get a better view of it. Uh, I didn't have the luxury of being able to have a very good look the last time because there was a tour group along with us.
There's a brick up there, 2002, engraved into it. Pretty sure the stone's not from 2002. Seems a wee bit old for that. There we are in at Casadine. It would be great to get in about these ruins. Um, doesn't appear to be any kind of reconstruction project in the go. It seems as though they've locked it up with a view to it never being got into again. A lot of scaffolding. Um, I believe we just can't get into it to have a really good look. <laughs> I wonder if I dropped my phone in there by accident, whether maybe someone over at the Chateau Arola Lodge would come over and help me retrieve it by opening the gate. That would be one way of having a better look in at the bits of this castle, but you might also think I'm just chancing my arm, which I would be. Oh, these padlocks. Just need a good pair of bolt cutters. That's what I think. See Alexis again, good. Gonna get right around this the same. Just to, you know, make sure there's no possibility of ingress somehow. We can at least touch the castle. Oh, touch it, if not get into it. Mind you, am I skinny enough to fit through that? Maybe. Would it make people sad if I was able to? Also, maybe. That is a really steep drop. I'm leaning against a tree. Uh, it's the only thing between me and falling <laughs> down this ravine, down into the Avon. Um, hmm, I think I could get in there. <sighs> I hate not just going for a thing. See, so... It'd be good to get in about it. Cause look at it, it's extensive. There's a lot going on. Yeah. But see, I don't even know if they're actually, I think all the scaffolding is just to stop it getting more ruins. Mm -hmm. See, it looks like it's really just holding stuff up. I don't know that there's any regeneration of the place. I don't know that people are ever going to get into it because this is quite, this is more of a permanent gate than you we normally see around them. So I don't know that people will ever get into this again. Mm -hmm. Same with Sankler. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't think they're ever going to like make that place better. Mm -hmm. And I hate just the possibilities of being there and not being brave enough to take them. <laughs> like. <laughs> I just, I'm, I would, but it's that drop that's got me more scared than anything. 
because I didn't think I was going to go under the water at the Devil's Pulpit. And I can see myself coming out for there and just putting a foot wrong and heading straight down into the pocket. And I don't know that you'd survive that drop. So, um, uh, I'm in two minds and it's making me mad. Because I want to go in and look at a window and have a wee look at what you can see from inside a castle, like over the Duke's Bridge and that, you know. There's paths here as well. Um, I don't know that there's anything to see. It's just more in the way of drops. Can't even really get over the brow of this hill to show you because it's so steep already. Um, probably some good archaeology around the castle too. I've not seen sites like at other places for um, metal detecting and stuff is forbidden, you know, prohibited. I've not seen anything like that. Well, I don't have a metal detector anyway, but um, I think this would probably be a good area to have a look about. Off to my right is just the hugest rock. Oh, I can't even get over so you can see it. I don't know if there's anything round here, I'm just having a wee look in the off chance. We don't like to think we've missed a thing on these trues. Uh, uh, what's all this mud? A wee brook. Serving to make this place a wee bit muddier. Uh, oh god, it's so squelchy. Uh. Oh my god, feet are sliding behind me. <laughs> I'm going to have your face plant in the muck. I'm going to... I don't know that this really goes anywhere. I think we're really just leaving Alexis behind. What is over here? Is that tree roots or...? I think it's a knocked down tree. Just in case it was maybe walls that were some kind of accompaniment to Kazo Castle, but I think it's just tree roots and trees that have maybe fallen during two recent storms or something. Yeah, it is. There's tree roots there. I'm going anymore. <laughs> I've completely lost Alexis. Um, there's more of the molehills like we saw over at Stone House, the aqueduct. It's a road. Let's walk down in the mud. Ranger, are we leaving Alexis? I have to shout on her. When I get back down to the path. I'm not hearing a response. Hmm. I'll message her through back at the the Jip Bridge. Tell her in there.
Then they could make some of it viewable. There seems to be a lot of quite steady ground here, like the this grass in front of us. That would be um, traversable, I would think. Um, we could just really wall off the more dangerous bits. But they seem to have gone the whole hog and just sectioned the whole lot off. Um, oh well. I won't be seeing more of Cads at the castle anyway. This is our second foray over here. So, um, so it's not often we go to places twice. We kind of did that in New Lanark. Um, we did the outside of New Lanark, then we came back and did the inside of New Lanark, and then we came back and did the other side of New Lanark. So it really got a, a view in from us, uh, a lot of attention. But uh, I don't know that we'll be coming back to, to Hamilton again. Um. Mm. Just a wee bit of a shame. This is just such a good building. Lots of different parts to it that you can still see. I mean, you think they'd put up enough scaffolding that perhaps it's steady enough that we could get in and just walk around it just due to it already being bolted by all this scaffolding, but um, no, apparently not. Oh, that's a shame. It says here that it's a construction site, but nothing's getting repaired, nothing's getting built or added to. It's really just being sectioned off so that we don't get to see the thing, isn't it? I mean, it looks like we could get up on top of that just by coming up here, doesn't it? Like, let's have a wee look, shall we? Because this all looks like stonework, but it could have been part of the castle as well. Can we get up here? I don't know. Maybe not one-handed. It's quite steep up. Um, so maybe an easier way up. I figure if we can get up on top of this thing, we might even get a view down over Kazo Castle from a higher vantage point, which would be nice. I'm not sure what I'm hearing. Oh. Oh. Off too. For a sake. This has just brought us back up to where we just came from. So there's not really a different view from up here at all, I'm afraid. Hmm. Okay. Why has that got like police symbols on it? Security control. I don't know. Whatever. Whatever. They definitely don't want us going there. Fair enough.
cross the Lexus again. Um, she's maybe already made her way back down and around the bridge. A lot of folk out walking their dogs here is a good place for that. To be honest, the building itself is super dog friendly too. Um, they have a dog part of the their cafe restaurant where you can sit with your dogs. And Alexis loves the puppies. So this is a good place for her to come to see these wee dogs. Just wait until I tell Aki that I've got an Los Alexis. <laughs> 